really frustrating here. I have the Bella Gobi is just dead. I have no idea what's occurred. God, I'm just so frustrated. It just feels like he didn't seem to have any signs of illness. I, I, he just happens to be here next to the Aptasia. Obviously, they're probably munching on him or something or just moving around him, but this is where the current goes. Literally, he's been fine. He's been sifting through sand. And now it's like, ah, uh, I am so frustrated. No idea what's occurred. It's just my luck. Because fins have shown are frayed. I didn't notice the fraying over the last couple of, the last few days. He seemed okay. I'm trying to show the, See anything that would have choked him? So at the top. So eyes were clear. There's. Can't tell us some of these red markings were from. Oh, it's hard to see anything. And I don't know if this one did or not, actually, to be honest. I, I just know that he seemed active. He seemed uh, responsive. He was eating. Um, he was sifting the sand. He's moved around so much of the sand. Gosh, it's really frustrating. I'm just really frustrated. I apologize if I sound uh, overly frustrated. It's just, you know, you get those feelings where you just feel like, wow, everyone else is just buying fish off of Petco and they're successful. And I, I'm trying really hard to take care of the fish as, as much as I can and, and do what's best. And you know, each of these fish that I'm buying are, are, are both for the species that I want to keep, but also because there's a particular job I want to have them do in the fish tank in the display, right? So he was, I, and I love having a sand sifter. And this one was just specifically really beautiful. So I had a sand sifter before. I had a diamond goby. He was with me for five years. Um, so slowly showed signs of aging, developed cataracts, was slowing down. I, I, I know he was dying and he did, he slowly died. But this is, I don't know what, this is like uh, a week and a half since getting it. Anyways, thank you, thank you everyone for uh, 